This is the latest news summary of global geopolitics. Please like and write your comments. They are very important to us. Residents of Solidar told how they survived in the basement for months. A family from Solidar, Alexander and Larissa Marenko, told Ria Novosti how they survived in the city for many months, hide in the basement, and went out for groceries only in the early morning. Now civilians of the liberated Solidar are being placed in Shaktisk, the head of the city administration, Alexander Shatov, told Ria Novosti on Thursday. Alexander Marenkov said that their family had been living in the basement since August, when the shelling of the residential sector began. It was unreal at night. The child did not sleep, just lay at night and listened to what was happening. The man recalls his mother Larissa Marenko, in an interview with the agency, also shared memories of how difficult it was to live in the city. They brought food. They didn't bring us water, the woman said. Despite the fact that the market and shops continued to work in the city, she notes, it was possible to get there only in the early morning, because of the constant shelling. Until nine o'clock in the morning, the shelling was only over us. After nine o'clock, no one came out. The terrible thing began, the woman recalls. According to her, seven rotations of Ukrainian troops have taken place in the city all the time. Those who were mobilized, more or less adequately, treated, shared water, bread. There were more or less normal people. Those who went of their own free will. We were nothing to them, she recalls. The woman added that the Ukrainian troops could say that the city was being shelled by Russian forces, but they themselves were not sure. They have a legend, the so-called wandering mortar, which they themselves are afraid of. He shoots at both his own and others, Larissa Marenko said. On Wednesday, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that airborne units blocked Solidar from the northern and southern parts of the city, and the founder of the Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, announced the complete liberation of Solidar, according to the acting head of the DPR Denis Pushilin, after that. The opportunities for the liberation of Artemovsk, the logistics center of the Ukrainian group, have been improved many times.